Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Unavowed. In the last episode, we were speaking with Eli and Mandana, learning a bit more about this organization we have found ourselves working for, and a bit more about the two of them. So, let's talk about something else, please. Sure. Uh, I'm curious about yourself. I guess if we're gonna work together, we should know each other. Ask away. How long have you been with the Unavowed? Why do you live down here? So you're a wizard? Mandana told me you used to be mundane, like me, and then enough about you. Uh, how long have you been with the Unavowed? Since the Nixon administration. I'm, uh, older than I look. Oh, okay. Just how old are you? If you must know, I'm 92. It's the magic. Keeps me young. No surgery required. You're 92? Really? Yeah. It... it is what it is, okay? I'm a mage. We live long lives. And a story. Oh... Those pictures of uh, his wife and daughters, they're looking a lot sadder now. Why do you live down here? Why do you think? Fire mage here. I could easily burn this place to the ground if I'm not careful. I needed a place to practice, and a room insulated with stone was the obvious choice. Besides, I don't feel the cold, so it's quite cozy down here. So you're a wizard? Ooh, never use the word wizard. It's a social faux pas or something. I'm a mage, with a capital M. The capital is also important. At least that's what the books tell me. I never actually met another mage to find out. Doesn't that fire hurt? Nope. Kind of tingles, but that's it. It's kind of like playing with light, at least when it touches my flesh. Clothes, though, I can burn them clear off and I won't even notice. Took about a decade and a dozen indecent exposure arrests before I managed to make my clothes fireproof. That's another crime we could have been committing. We could have been flashing people. Oh, God. Eli, why did you have to remind me of that? Mandana told me you used to be mundane, like me. Someone's been telling tales out of school, huh? I used to have a pretty normal life. Then one day I set my office on fire, with my mind. Then stuff happened and Mandana found me. She brought me here. The rest is, well, history. Stuff happened? Yep. Oh, God. He, he doesn't want to talk about it, but Bryony, she's, she's curious. She's a curious person. What kind of stuff happened? I bared my soul enough for one day. Barely even know you. Let's talk about something else. Fair. Fair. I guess Bryony, you know, she's an actress. I think, you know, when, when you are acting, you tend to get used to being in, you know, quite close quarters with others other people you know these they're relative strangers but you know you have to share a dressing room and that means you're, gonna, you're probably going to be seeing each other in various states of undress you get familiar with people quite quickly so you know I, maybe Bryony needs to learn that oh, okay I do need to back off these these people aren't like me I need to back off a bit enough about you let's talk about someone else sure about last night you had time to process it? I know I have. To be honest, I'm just glad the exorcism worked. It took four days of concentration to prepare that spell. I gave it everything I had. Four days? Were you really throwing lightning? It was worth it, thank you. Um... To be fair, it didn't look like he was throwing lightning. It looked more like he was channeling it. Um, what kind of demon was in that book? That it took four days of preparing a spell. Oh, Lord. Four days? Well, yeah. When you deal with demons, you don't leave anything to chance. Not to mention lightning. If I hadn't prepared, it could have fried you. Not to mention me. I just wish I hadn't summoned that... thing. I know the creature was technically blameless, but I'm still not sure we made the right call. Still, I suppose it's too late now. Oh, it's... 
it was a bit of a a bit of a bad do, but everyone was blameless in that. The dead people inside the building were blameless. The ligamental was blameless. Eli and Mandana were blameless. Briny, technically speaking, was blameless. Like, it, it, it was just a mess. It was just a whole ass mess. Could I ask you about some of the pictures on your walls? Look, I really wanted to get some practice in. Maybe next time. Yeah, that's i uh, I'm not comfortable talking to you about that yet. A photo appeared on my wall. Do you know how it got there? Huh, you too, huh? Wasn't long after I joined up that my first photo appeared. Scared the hell out of me. It's something to do with this building. It wants you to remember who you are, who you were. Don't think about it too hard. I've been here 50 years and I still don't know how it works. Okie doke. I'll leave you to it. Right. See you around. Joke to Ra, Eli. Be careful not setting the building on fire. Ooh, hello. An impossibly old, impossibly muscled, and impossibly blue man gazes into the fire. Kalash, I presume. However, I wanna I wanna look around first. A ship in a bottle hangs in a place of honor above the door. This couch. A colorful painting of a mother and child. That's Mondana. And I presume that's her mother. Okay. Yeah, nice. She did mention she was only a, a djinn on her father's side. I mean, obviously the guy's... I'm assuming this is Kalash. He's, he's blue. He's blue. So yeah, human mother. Okay. It's either a Tiffany lamp or a very good replica. A blue-green crystal glowing with a mysterious inner light. The spirits in these bottles are the drinking kind. At least you hope. We can't see who that is. This bottle emits a faint hum. Smoke dances up the chimney from the warm embers of the fire. Yes, sir? Mm hmm Oh, you're the new one, aren't you? It was either this or get arrested. Hey, <laughs> Yes, I'm here to join the unavowed. You're blue. But just state the obvious. I, I'm drawn to it. I'm drawn to it. She's seeing so much weird stuff. And I don't... I, I think... Because she, she is a creative type. And... I think under any other circumstances, I think maybe she'd be able to jump quite easily into this. You know, the theatre is a world where anything can happen. The stage is magical. I truly believe that. You are teleported to worlds far off. And I think under any other circumstances, she could take to this like a duck to water, but she's been through a traumatic experience. And I don't think she's coping with that trauma well. I think it is sitting very heavy in her heart that like, I killed people. I killed people and I could have done other really fucked up shit. And I don't know, but I'm responsible. Even though they're saying I'm not, I feel responsible. Like I was stupid enough to touch that book and I wasn't I was weak willed clearly I was weak willed because I got possessed like this is my fault so I, I think she's just she's shocked by everything I think you're blue no I am Kalash I am a djinn of the ancient kingdom and I run this branch of the unavowed and you you were possessed how'd you let that happen I didn't exactly let it happen. It was a book. I touched it and then, you think I wanted to be possessed? No, I, I think she's very disappointed in herself. It was a book. I touched it and then... Sloppy, sloppy. Such a thing would have been unthinkable once. 
In my day, even a newborn babe had wits enough to leave books of demonic evil alone. Mundanes today don't know they're born. The world has gotten soft, needs toughening up. How tough are you, new girl? Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure this is ProZD. On, he's a, he's a YouTuber, voice actor. Oh, he's... Sungwon... I don't know his surname. I know his first name is Sungwon. And I'm always shit scared that I'm gonna pronounce it incorrectly. Oh. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure this is him. I'm an actor. I do all my own stunts. Got the scars to prove it. I stopped that monster in the alley. I got hit by lightning yesterday. Several times. I mean... I think internally she's thinking I'm not tough at all. I'm probably not cut out for this, but we're gonna we're gonna put on a smile here. I'm an actor. I do all my own stunts. I've got the scars to prove it. You compare fighting the forces of darkness to play acting with wooden swords. No, no. You have yet to experience your true crucible, but it will come. Oh yes, it will come. At any rate, we have much to discuss and much to do. Settle in, talk to the others, get the lay of the land. I will call our meeting when you are ready. Oh, sir, I've I've spoken to them. I would like to speak to you. Hmm? What is it? You ready to start the meeting? Can we talk about the unavowed? I'd like to ask you about some people we know about last night. Call the meeting. Goodbye, sir. Can we talk about the unavowed? I might know a thing or two about that. What does the unavowed do? How long has the unavowed been around? How come I've never heard of the un of the unavowed before? And then, okay. What does the unavowed do? We're the wall against the darkness, the protectors of the mundane world. We might not be what we once were, but we are here, and that is all that matters. How long has the unavowed been around? Nobody knows for sure, not even I. But this branch is exactly 393 years old. I know because I founded it. Hmm. How come I've never heard of the Unavowed before? Hmm. That's gratitude for you. Used to be, you mundanes would beg us for help if a cat looked at you funny. But yes, I won't deny it. Supernatural threats became fewer and further between over the last century. There was little reason for mundanes to think of us at all. But... Things have changed. You founded this place? Yes. This city was becoming a force to be reckoned with, with the supernatural forces to match. There was important work to be done. I volunteered, and here I am still. Changed? Yes. Supernatural threats have risen, exponentially. It's been difficult to contain. We need to fill our ranks. You are the first in a long line of many, I hope. I do find it funny how no one has... Like, literally, I said this in the past episode. Not the past, the last episode. Excuse me, I'm getting tongue-tied. I'ma take a sip. Today I am drinking peach iced tea. It is lovely. Mmm, refreshing. Um... Yeah, I was literally saying this in the last episode. It seems that supernatural threats suddenly increased a year ago. And we were possessed a year ago. I'm like, why is... Why is no one putting two and two together? I, I mean, maybe I'm thinking about this in the wrong way. Maybe we were... Maybe we were not the cause of it we were just one of the incidents i hope that makes sense it wasn't that like we get possessed we start doing supernatural shit maybe it was like oh and then a demonic book was dicking about and then this happened and then that happened maybe that's wishful thinking it's like no it was we didn't fuck anything up. It was just a coincidence. It had... Oh, I don't... I don't like that timeline, though. 
I don't like the fact that it's like, oh yeah, you got possessed a year ago, and then a year ago, things suddenly got really bad. I'm I want to think that is just a coincidence, but my gut says no. I'd like to talk about something else. Well, spit it out. I'd like to ask you about some people we know. I do not indulge in idle gossip. If you want to know of someone, ask them. Okay, fair. About last night? Not now. My opinion will be given during the meeting, rest assured. I'm going to judge you in front of everyone. Thanks, Kalesh. A call the meeting. Indeed. A time for waiting is past. Father, you met our latest recruit? Yes. I admit she doesn't look like much, but we'll see what this life makes of her. We were all neophytes once, Kalash. Most of us, Mage Beckett. Most of us. I'm right here, you know. So what are we talking about? Keep quiet and wait. Um, ooh. Ooh, again, I don't... I don't think Briny's the sort to keep quiet. Even when she's nervous, I, I don't see her as the, the, you know, quiet, stoic sort. I think I said in the first episode, I wanted to play Briny as quite gentle and a bit timid, kind of small almost, but I I really just don't see her as the stoic type. Maybe she talks when she's nervous. Yeah, that, that feels about right. Hmm. Okay, they are being a little bit rude. I'm right here, you know. I am aware of that. I have read the reports on your last mission. Mage Beckett, is it true you summoned a void creature? Yes, by accident, I swear. Irrelevant. Magic is unpredictable. I understand this. What I don't understand is why you let it feed on human corpses. What will the mundane authorities think when they find tooth marks on the victims, hmm? The creature was both a danger and an innocent. We reached a compromise, that is all. We'll be the ones compromised if the two of you aren't more careful. Don't you mean the three of you? Don't blame them, it was my idea. Technically speaking, it was. Don't blame them, it was my idea. That may be, but you had no authority over them. It was their choice to make. Father, regardless of our choices, the Void Creature is gone. We have a more pressing concern. Yes, you let the demon escape. Your mission was a failure. They saved me. I wouldn't call that a failure. Wait, the demon is still out there? Keep on. No. What? It, it didn't get banished to whatever hellscape it escaped from? Wait, the demon is still out there? Yes. Just waiting to find another hapless victim. No disrespect. Sir, she was a big help. Help you would not have needed if you achieved your primary goal. I almost did. I was so close. I had it contained, but it was stronger than I expected. I see. This is becoming distressingly commonplace. Nevertheless, Eli speaks the truth. We underestimated the threat. Then that will have to be sufficient. And now to the next item at hand. Your next mission. All right, my first mission. So soon? I only just got here. Keep quiet. Ooh. I th she feels... I think she feels a little bit battered about by, you know, by everything. Like she's in a storm and just the winds are pushing her this way and that. So soon? I only just got here. The forces of darkness will not wait for you to get your sea legs. And neither can we. I have detected void activity in the East Village, somewhere close to Aster Place. You are to travel there, determine the cause of the disturbance, and neutralize it. Void activity? What do you mean by neutralize? Keep quiet. Void activity? Activity from beyond the void. Do try and keep up. 
Are you sure she's ready to go out into the field so soon? These are dangerous times. Dark forces are coming. We don't have the time for traditional training. If she isn't able to handle it immediately, we might as well kill her now. Trial by fire. Sink or swim. Do or die. You want to prove yourself to the unavowed, new girl? Now is your chance. Meeting adjourned. Well, I guess that settles that. So who's in charge? Trial by fire? I guess we should get going. Oof. Oof. Oh, I I think she I think she's a little bit taken aback by how harsh Kalash is. I, I think she understands that she needs to earn her place here. But again, I think she feels like she's a little bit in over her head. This isn't this isn't what she normally deals with. She's like, I should be rehearsing lines, going to a costume fitting. This is not that. Trial by fire? I know, right? If anyone's gonna do a fire pun, it should be me. Anyway, we're ready when you are. Okay, ooh, use Mandana, use Eli, okay, and... Yet this imposing door leads down the street. Let's, let's head out. Oh, okay. Oh, click to choose Looks your Looks like the K-Train is down. Again. Eli, the K-Train was discontinued in 1988. Oh. Was it? I could swear I took it to the Museum of Natural History not too long ago. You did. In 1986. Oh, Eli. Mandana counts the cracks on the subway floor. Eli is oh. engrossed in a book. Okay. So, I guess we won't be taking the K-Train. To the East Village. Manhattan, Astor Place, 8.30 p.m. Hmm. Still raining. At least nothing's here waiting to kill us. Well, the night is young. Looks like this building site was abandoned not too long ago, okay? Uh, <laughs> uh it's cock. Nice. A oh, cock enter. I salute you. Charming! I salute you, graffiti artist. Very nice tree. The Alamo sculpture, aka the cube. It's been here so long. It's been here as long as you can remember. I get my apologies for the tongue fumbles, but it will happen frequently. Uh, the street leads further eastward into Alphabet City. Let's let's go. You seem troubled. Is something the matter? Maybe we should walk around the block. There's a cop there. I'm a wanted criminal. Shouldn't I be wearing a disguise or something? Disguise kit. Shouldn't I be wearing a disguise or something? Whatever for. You have nothing to fear. Not with the veil in place. Veil? What veil? What are you talking about? Did you do something to me? They have mentioned a veil before. Veil? What veil? Yeah, it became active when you signed up with us. It just disguises your identity. Anyone looking at you sees slightly different features. You are not the first new recruit to arrive with... complications in the mundane world. The veil prevents awkwardness all around. Great! Wouldn't want things to be more awkward than they are! So nobody I know will recognize me? I suppose that makes sense. Better safe than sorry- yeah. I think this does hurt. Briny probably has family out there that she'd like to see again, but you know, obviously they they won't recognize her, and that does make her feel very sad. But she's she's wanted for multiple murders. Like, mm, I suppose that makes sense. Better safe than sorry. Just think of it as a perk of membership. In a sense, the veil only works on mundanes. Supernatural beings and the Void Touch can see through it easily, but that law enforcement officer, he will pose no threat. Thanks. Let's keep going. Normal folks won't recognize me, but supernatural folks can. Got it. Let's go. Unless there's something else you forgot to tell me. Thanks. Let's keep going. Very good. Let us proceed. Stuff okay. This building has been reduced to cinders quite recently from the look of it. 
Despite the weather, this officer stands rigidly at attention. Evening, ma'am. What happened here? Rough night to be out. I'd better get going. What happened here? Who wants to know? Actor, I live in the neighborhood. I've been on vacation. I'm like putting our acting skills to good use. Oh, I live in the neighborhood. I've been on vacation. Ooh. Welcome home, I guess. Count yourself lucky that the fire didn't spread. I'll tell you one thing. You see a lot of bad people in this line of work, but it takes a special kind of nasty to torch a homeless shelter. A rough night to be out. Yeah, you could say that. Wouldn't be here if I had the choice, believe me. This was a homeless shelter? Yeah, a neighborhood full of corporate chains and they attacked this place. Was anyone hurt? A few people killed. A lot of people with second or third degree burns. That is horrible. I won't argue with that. I was here when the rescue team arrived. They were carted off to Beth Israel Hospital. The people here, they don't exactly have medical insurance. Ooh. Oof, damn. Are you sure it was arson? That's how we're treating it. Until we know otherwise, we're treating it like a crime scene. Which means, stay back. Uh, yes, sir. I'd better get going. I don't blame you. See ya. Please. Please. I didn't- I can't remember when he said the fire was set. I don't even know if he mentioned it, actually. But, please. Let it not be us. Let it not be us. I, I would find that amusing, though. If every place we went, they were like, you did it. it oh, God. Oh, okay. Obviously, we can't get past the cop, so... Let's see. There could be something further up on the street. Hey, are you all right? You look a little... Oh, shit. Where are you taking me? This building is a safe place. I'm taking you out of the cold. That's all you need to know. I need your help. You need mine. Perhaps we can help each other. We get to roleplay the demon as well? Oh. I'm taking you out of the cold. That's all you need to know. I'll do whatever you want. Just help me. Please. Just go through this door. Follow me in here. Just do as you're told and all will be well. Just do as you're told and all will be well. Did you see that? I did. Neuromorphic projection. I've read the theories, but never thought. I think she's coming out of it. Are you all right? What just happened? I'm not sure. I think I had a vision. What just happened? You blacked out. Just for a minute, but... You had a vision. We saw it as well. A vision from your past. Well, your demon's past, technically. This area must have kick-started your brain into remembering. There was some psychic spillover. We could see it too. Spillover? You guys can read my mind? That gave me a nasty headache. Spillover? Yeah. Psychic runoff. Try not to think about it too hard. This building the demon entered. It used to house the village eye. <gasps> the newspaper? Didn't it go out of business a few years ago? Indeed it did. What was your demon self doing here? This is the newspaper the newspaper where Rosa worked. Oh I I hope there are many references to the Blackwell series. I really hope there are. Starting up a newsletter for demons? Let's get in and find out. As long as I don't have another vision, I don't care. That hurt. Here's the thing, if we keep having visions, then we'll know what the demon was up to. And I think Bryony does want to know. She she wants to know exactly what she did. Let's get in and find out. Agreed. We are wasting time. Right. Enough jabbering. Let's go. Well, we will enter the village eye in the next episode. But until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed. Leave a comment below. And if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. 
I've been Callista. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.